In public health, we know from our history that we have the potential to impact greatly on the health of the population. With the limited dollars that we have in today's economic climate, it's really important for us to be sure that the interventions that we uh, are creating are going to work. If we're going to make the business case for investment in public health, we must do that based on evidence. Quand on parle de prise de décision fondée sur les données probantes, on s'éloigne un petit peu d'une décision basée simplement sur notre expérience ou une décision basée sur notre jugement. Donc, on complète cette réflexion en allant chercher des données, des données scientifiques, des données d'études, de façon à enrichir notre réflexion et à bonifier notre décision. What we need to do is to use the best evidence, the most valid evidence we can find, because better evidence, better decisions. The challenge of not using evidence in decision making really is that we are at risk of wasting resources, wasting dollars with solutions that we think might work, but we don't actually have any evidence to know with some confidence that they're going to work. Évidemment, on ne souhaite jamais prendre une décision qui va avoir un impact négatif sur la santé des populations. De, avec ou sans argent, on ne souhaite pas faire ce genre de décision. Mais si on ne fait pas attention aux données, si on ne fait pas attention à ce qui a déjà été reconnu comme efficace, on pourrait déployer des interventions qui ont peu ou pas d'efficacité. When you make a decision based on evidence, it builds your confidence in a, in a really significant way. Other people can, can challenge you, but you can direct them to, to the research, to the evidence. So it's defensible and people respect you. It builds credibility. And that credibility that it builds is transferable. People then understand that if you embark on a new initiative that's informed on, uh, by research, the uptake will be greater because people understand that you are a credible organization. And it also, I believe, heightens the accountability that we have for population health outcomes and for wise stewardship of health dollars that are coming into the system. I would not have the confidence, I don't think, to practice as a public health specialist if I didn't have a sense that I could understand and rely on my understanding of evidence to create the best outcomes for communities. Ultimately, that's what I'm charged to do as a medical officer of health. So I think communities benefit tremendously when evidence is, is used in decisions that are about them. And in the future, we can make better use of the science that is already there uh, to make well-founded conclusions and to apply them in our daily work. Donc, quand on est une petite organisation, même si on n'a on pas les moyens nous-mêmes de conduire les études ou de faire les revues systématiques, on peut toujours consulter les organismes dont c'est le travail que d'être à l'affût des données, de faire des nouvelles études, de faire des nouvelles enquêtes, de synthétiser l'information et de la rendre disponible. It doesn't have to be hard to incorporate evidence, and there are, you know, evidence makers in every community across the country who are just screaming to have that evidence put on the table. They're not that hard to find. The other thing is, I think the cost of not using evidence and making a mistake in those interventions is too high to ignore. So I think there are, are far more compelling reasons for using evidence than not using evidence in decision making. There uh, is unnecessary illness and mortality in our society that we could prevent. We can use evidence to find the most effective ways of preventing disease. When you have this opportunity, seize it. Go through that door because I think it can be a time of change in your organization and you're not doing it alone. You're able to optimize and capitalize assets that others are offering you and knowledge and expertise. And I dare say without that, we wouldn't be where we are today. I think there's another uh, value added, which is the confidence that the public can get because evidence should be transferable, should be transparently available so that the public can look at it, see for themselves that the evidence is there. That boosts their confidence in the decision. It ultimately boosts their confidence in the decision makers as well. <laughs>